Alrighty, so, uh, last time we played, we managed to get what I think is the code to the arsenal, because it is the last thing we have marked on the map. So we need to go to the arsenal, and we need to go to the tunnels. Now, the thing with the tunnels is we don't have a map for that area, so we have no idea what it actually looks like. Um, and I think going there first might be a good idea. Um, because then if we die, we can just change our plans to go to the arsenal first. Or before doing tunnels if we can't do anything uh, there, which is fine. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna head down to the arsenal again, finally. I almost forgot the controls for a second. <laughs> Alrighty, look at this. We are in the arsenal. Now, I don't remember what the code was. I'll have to look it up. I thought it was like 8312. Mana says the starting soon art is just what I did when we hit gold in Street Fighter. That is true. What is this? What does this connect to? I don't love being in like waist deep water in the hell tunnels. I'm not really feeling this. So we gotta drain this somehow. I think I'm relatively safe in here probably until I do that. That's my guess. All right, so I think in order for this to work, we need to have the generator going. Okay then, we can go do that. Let's go uh, get the generator up and running. Closer to the wall there than I expected to be. Okay, uh, yeah, I guess we can go ahead and do this. Sure, we'll fill this up.
Look at this. Now let's see if this works to drain this. No. Uh, okay. Oh, I have to pull that over there. Got it. That's fine. Not really losing much power over here. See what happens. Let's run back and turn off the generator. Preserve as many resources as we possibly can here. Whew, we did that in about one tank of gas. That wasn't too bad. Nice. We did it. Let's look at what we do have. Am I bleeding? I am not bleeding. Uh, sure, we'll take that out. Uh, put that back. Well, we can take one of those. Maybe, uh, I don't know. Right, put this back. Put the bandage back just in case. We have all of our uh, like progression items on us so that we can open doors and stuff. Go ahead and... Uh, well, I'll bring this with me just in case we need it. I think I can just take out like a lot of those and I can just put them down somewhere. Uh, the fact that you can just drop items and they'll they'll not despawn is like pretty amazing. <laughs> Gives us a lot more space to work with. Oh. <gasps> that is not good. Do you see that? That's a hole in our safe place. Oh boy. Okay. Things just got real. <laughs> Uh, yikes, that really is not good. That was probably four going into the tunnels. Uh, yikes, okay. Need to remember the code, so let's look this up. I think it's eight three one three three two six. Okay. Great, this place is a maze. Hmm. 
<laughs> Oops, I didn't recognize what that sound was before, uh, before it was too late. <laughs> Alright, we immediately need to do some stuff to prevent our safe house from being ransacked, basically. Apollo says, and that thing is barrels. Yes. You're going to put an explosive barrel. I'm gonna try to wedge this barrel in place here so that the enemy just like straight up can't get in. That is my goal. The first thing we want is the mustard gas container because we know that it can't break the mustard gas container. And this might be easy to wedge right there. That is an uninteractable object. We gotta wedge as much as we can into this space so that it can't be messed with. to just be crammed so that nothing can move it out of the way. We're gonna need to grab a whole bunch of stuff. I didn't even know this was here. up any of this? I cannot. Ah, uh, dang. This is, like, blocked from moving in here. They've thought of everything. They knew people were going to try to block that. Oh. That's fine. I'm just trying to position it now so it's not in the way. There we go. No! Well... move further forward and so all right so those will explode if they're put into a position where they are being blocked that is good to know but we can probably use their their minimum pieces to create some sort of blockade here because these pieces don't seem to want to break all right uh now that we did that
progress saved. Back towards the arsenal. Maybe I shouldn't have gone into the tunnels so early. Uh, I feel like progressing the end game there was a bad idea. There it is, it's way back there. It doesn't see me. can just barrel through this. Okay. <laughs> All right. I did not realize that. Well, luring it right there might actually be a good idea then. Because we can get it to break all the obstacles for us and then just walk through. All right. So this is now operation get the monster to break some stuff. We're going to have a lot of back and forth. So yeah, how's how's everyone doing today? How are things? I did uh, a lot of planning today. Planning for the move, packed up a few more things, worked just so much <laughs> on actual work stuff today. You know, it's been a been a long day. Man, if the monster spawns behind you, like right there, you're just screwed. Like, you can't do anything. <laughs> you just instantly die. Like, I would not have had enough time to open that lock, so that was just being unlucky. You know what, actually, I don't really, you know what we're going to do? We are going to turn on the lights. We're going to turn on the lights. That's what I'm deciding. Wish I had a full tank, but that's fine. Apollo says, I'm on the Rack 5's train, just got home though, mostly still settling in. I feel that.
I want to burn the rats, but I guess I didn't get them where I needed to. kind of bad for our productivity, but it's fine. Where's Batty going? Where is he? Right there is the answer. Monsters all the way down there. All right, so I did what I wanted to do and cleared out the path a little bit without the lights on, or with the lights on. Again, I don't want to blow through all of our supplies, so let's go ahead and turn off the generator. heal ourselves so we don't lure anything back here because certain enemies will be attracted to our blood stains apparently all right time to fill up the generator oh that just filled it to full have i just been wasting fuel i'm really confused at how much everything fills because it used to just do two of those Huh? That's really strange. All right. We filled it. go turn it back on again if we really have that much fuel. Because this will give us, this will buy us some time for when we're going to the arsenal. Things are getting kind of lethal. I'm getting a little nervous. <laughs> Raph says, I'm playing RE5 on the Switch on that mode that takes out the QTEs, and honestly, it's a better experience. Interesting. I have never played that version of RE5, but uh, the, the QTEs were a pain in that game. So I can imagine anything that removes them makes the game a little bit better. I'm not a huge fan of that game. <laughs> Two two five one Travers. Okay, so we got Travers's code now. Nothing really back here. There's a hole back there. Yep. Does that just always alert the monster? 
Okay. How do we do this one? I understand. Oh no, that was where the monster was. I thought it was coming around the other side. Uh, that's irritating. Alright. Go on and uh, turn the generator back on, I guess. Go through this whole hoopla again. says I will say the sound design in this is very crunchy and satisfying yeah things just kind of break apart interestingly it makes a neat sound you for real right now is a monster gonna be in here I'm gonna be exhausted Travers, 2251. Okay, I can't climb over that, but I can crawl under it to not alert the beast. Wait, what? Okay. I'm confused why that didn't break that barrel. It must have just been a weird mesh. Like, I can't shoot it through the, the cabinet or whatever, the shelving. That was a little frustrating, but that's fine.
Come on, game. Oh no. <laughs> Alright, well I guess we're putting that in our inventory. Yes, I want the monster behind us, please. That would be ideal. Okay. This game is just the process of slowly becoming a speedrunner, <laughs> where you just do things until they work, and then you have it down, and you're good. You're just, you're solidly good. You know what to do. <gasps> this is an idea. Ooh, what's this? <gasps> Grenades. Look at that. I made it over without uh, problems. That's a chlorine gas bomb. Okay, I thought it wouldn't be able to go through the chlorine gas. Oh, it ran away. And now it's coming through over there. Come on, chlorine gas, dissipate. I got stuff to do. Alright, so I need my gas mask for this. <laughs> well, that makes sense. Take the gas mask. What am I gonna put away? Um, empty bottle. Okay. Should be good. I think we can do it this time. Is this gonna be the run? Are we gonna be able to do it? Let's see. Find out next week on Toaster Ball Z. It's actually pronounced Toaster Balls. Like Dragon Ball Fighters. Okay. Probably shouldn't have closed that door behind me, but that's fine. I need to keep remembering. I need to remember so to, to actually go back there and check that out.
Alrighty. Alright, so we can just platform over it. Never mind, we're good. Look at this. Oh boy, we got it. We got the dynamite. behind me. Used gas on the beast. Oh, it walked through the thing. It broke the uh, tripwire. Get smashed, dude. Woo! We did it, y'all. We got the dynamite. And we still have time on the clock. Definitely need to refuel, which means that the fuel we left behind probably would have been useful and I could have grabbed it, but that's fine. We don't need it right now. Man, three quarters of a tank will really get you, won't it? That's great. The last quarter of a tank is just, it's, it's worth 100,000 miles. Oh boy. Okay, we didn't even need to use our gas mask this time. That is awesome. That... That just hicks ass. All right, uh, put the dynamite in there for now. Whew. I feel incredibly happy. <laughs> Whew. That made me sweat a little bit. We're really making progress. Uh, so now all we have to do is go to the tunnels to get the, the thingy, which granted, that's the scariest thing. We have no idea what's down there. In fact, the only information we have is that it's dark and it's scary. So I don't know what's up with that. <laughs> ah. So yeah, and then we just have a pretty clear cut way out. I mean, granted, they're probably going to throw some throw a wrench into our gears if we need, if we really want to, but uh, if we really want to make it out of here, things are going to get a little bit dicey, I'm sure. Um, but we're making it. I want to try something now. Will this work? Imagine if it did. Imagine if that exploded. It took the other thing a long time to explode. It's probably not going to work. I'm guessing it's not going to work.
Well, it was worth a try, right? <laughs>